Hi, I am Michelle Harms. The Advent devotion for today is based on Psalm chapter 72, verses 1 through 7 and 18 through 19. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May the mountains yield prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live while the sun endures and as long as the moon throughout all generations. May he be like the rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may righteousness flourish and peace abound until the moon is no more. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May his glory fill the whole earth. Amen and Amen. Today's message, the psalm for today, invites us to pray for our leaders, not merely for the sake of their personal well-being, but more so that their leadership may lead to the well-being of the people in their care. At a time when political divisiveness is so pervasive, it is good for all of us to remember that a failure in leadership doesn't only affect a distant political party or a particular person. The effect ripples out to our most intimate communities, how we engage with the various leaders and how those leaders then engage the issues of the poor and oppressed will deeply shape the health of the overall community. When we are pitted against one another, we lose the vision and possibility of God's kingdom. As you walk or drive through your neighborhood today, what prayers can you lift up for the leaders in your area? Let us pray. God, who is called Lord, and Jesus, who is called Prince and King, help shape our imaginations about how good leadership works. May we honor your leadership by looking to you for wisdom and insight and keeping everyone in your community in prayer, even when it seems difficult to do so. Amen.